hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks so today video is about how you can monitor your code execution so what is the meaning of this so for example your application is on the server and you want to monitor your code execution so for example your code is throwing something so you want to notice that what the exception is throwing so for example you deployed your uh, application on the server and your client says that your app application is breaking right so now you need to debug it yourself that which endpoint is breaking and why it's breaking so by using this package you don't need to do anything it will track everything and then told you that where it's breaking the things and what is the exception and what is the proper route so it's tell you everything and it's also tell you that what is the route which is visiting uh, visited too many times so you can check its percentage and uh, there are also graphs and different things to judge uh, the routes uh, and application uh, application usage right so this is pretty simple so you need to just uh, visit this uh, inspector website so let's go here and uh, let me uh, now i'm going to walk through all of the process also we are going to embed this into the real scenario so here inspector now let's go to the inspector so let me visit their website and uh, let's go here and uh, create your own account so just uh, uh, name uh, just name email and password and you will be uh, registered into this inspector website right so i am logging in as diet niazi and then now let's click on this application and here i have created this uh, application laravel advanced feature right so I'm going to remove this out and then I'm going to recreate this again for you okay so I have deleted this and here I'm going to uh, create one more application so laravel demo app okay and then I'm going to choose this laravel and then let's click on this next so you can uh, do this for whatever you like so and then you need to install this into your project right so this is the package and this is a this documentation is available also here right so but this is a uh, good uh, you know for, because all of the steps mentioned here now let's copy it and go to our server and let's clear this out so let me clear the existing one so i have uh, i need to paste this command here i pasted this out and then you need to click on this enter and it will install this package for you right so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and then next you need to configure its key when you uh, register into your application so this will provide you a key right app key so you need to get its key so in my case it's this one and i'm hiding this for demonstration purposes for the security purposes not demonstration purposes okay let me go to the env file and in the v in the env i'm going to paste this out right so i pasted this inspector ignition key and this is my key so now let's save this one and close this file and go back and then you need to attach the middleware so this uh, also comes with the inspector middleware so now let's uh, copy this one and apply these into the http kernel so i'm going to http slash kernel and here you need to register this into your web and api so this is the web and i'm going to add this into the web and then now let's add this into the api file also okay it says that it's nothing to install because i have already installed it in your case it will be installed without any exception so i'm using the laravel 9 okay so now let's uh, remove this kernel.php file and what's the next so next you need to just uh, execute this command and your application will be sync with your inspector right so let's uh, copy this command and uh, check to make sure that everything is compiled successfully so let's wait for a moment we added the key we installed the package we added the middleware and then we need to execute this command and our application is synced with the inspector right so i'm uh, running this application locally so you can uh, do it from the local or production server so it's totally upon you so i'm shooting this for administration purposes that's why i'm doing this on the local server okay so now let's wait here and by the way this is the laravel this article is uploaded on the laravelnews.com so you can follow this uh, article and if you are not familiar with my youtube channel my name is Tayat Niazi and i'm 
shooting different codes on the laravel so you can uh, i'm shooting free of cost so there are 25 plus courses on the laravel so don't forget to check them out and if you want to get regular updates about the laravel so subscribe the youtube channel and get to be notified at 11 am according to the pakistan time okay that's great it successfully compiled these files and it's going to discover our packages and yes done so now let's uh, enter this command and type uh, enter and it will going to uh, uh, it will going to uh, uh, tell us that inspector is installed okay inspector key is installed inspector is enabled curl extension is enabled and it says that done right so it means that our application is connected with the inspector so now let's go here and click on this uh, inspector so let me uh, go to this monitoring and uh, no it's not uh, let's click on this application and let's click on this monitoring here so now it will uh, show you the data no data for current filter so now let's refresh it again so it will be uh, available in a few minutes two to three minutes okay so if there is any exception so you can check this here that what's going wrong in your application right monitoring and wait for a moment and yes our application is connected and it's telling that to desktop and then this execution time it's server IP is transaction inspector test to the and stuff like that so uh, your routes will be visible here and you can catch the exception into this exception so for now there is one exception it's by default come when you install this package i don't know why it's uh, coming here and if i go here and now i'm going to visit to my slash route right now let's go here and refresh this out so when you refresh something so this will be available in your monitoring after few seconds so hold on it and then view it in the inspector so you can refresh it from here right so i'm going to monitoring and let's go to the monitoring and check that oh, there are this route will be here okay let's wait for a moment and refresh this out okay that's great now it's added that get slash and it's exec also added the con uh, execution time also define the memory usage a minute ago and success response right so i'm um, you can also view this for 24 hours or different specific dates so you can also apply a different filter on it right and now i'm going to tell you that where it's going to throw the exception so for now it's having our default exception and now i'm going to throw an exception i don't have turned on the database connection and uh, my users endpoint is uh, required a uh, database connection right this one i'm going to execute this and it's going to throw that database uh, connection execute uh, connection exception and then this will be monitored into this inspector right okay now i get refresh and why my pc is slowed down guys let's wait for a moment okay it's throwing the exception that no connection is made because the machine is turned off so now let's go here and let's get refresh so it's going to display as this exception and yes this application is scattered here no connection could be made because refuse so it means that it's similar like we are happening this in the in our application so it's displaying it here right so you can view your application performance how many times it's visited these routes you can catch the exceptions and do uh, many things and you can also uh, add multiple application here and uh, you can get the benefit from this package so hope you like this video and uh, if you want to get the regular updates uh, from the laravel uh, about laravel so please subscribe the youtube channel and get notified bye bye